What's happening? This is just a quick little video about some news I recently heard that can affect not only my channel, but anyone else who streams music on Twitch. In the past few days, thousands of Twitch streamers have been hit with copyright claims from the RIAA. These claims are anywhere from 2017 to 2019. So what that means is the RIAA, Recording Industry Association of America, is going back for years of Twitch footage and claiming any video that has a copyrighted song in it. Twitch support has verified this on their Twitter saying, This week, we've had a sudden influx of DMCA takedown requests for clips of background music from 2017 to 2019. If you're unsure about rights to audio and past streams, we advise removing those clips. We know many of you have large archives and we're working to make this easier. This is the first time we have received mass DMCA claims against clips. We understand this has been a stressful for affected creators and are working on solution, including examining how we can give you more control over your clips. Twitch has always had DMCA and copyright guidelines, but enforcement has been minimal to non-existent. Unlike YouTube, where you can get cut off midstream if you trigger a copyright. I've been cut off and have my stream shut down numerous times on YouTube. And on top of that, because of the weekly live stream, I have literally thousands of copyright claims. But they don't affect me much because I'm a smaller channel that's not monetized, and I'm dealing with small independent labels that aren't trying to claim music and shut down channels. It's no secret that the YouTube copyright system is completely broken and screws over creators. From Rick Beato to Paul Davids to Adam Neely, they get screwed constantly, sometimes on music that they made that someone else claimed. And part of the appeal to Twitch is that the ferocity to strike down channels for music just didn't exist. Mostly because the big recording industry companies didn't know what Twitch was. But I think because of quarantine, all that has changed with the rise in popularity of music streaming. So what does that mean for me and other Twitch and YouTube DJs? Well, that depends on what you play. For me personally and other DJs that I know, this won't really affect us much at all. Drum and Bass and Jungle is still relatively underground and there's not a giant corporation trying to milk money from us. We're dealing with small independent labels and they're not trying to strike us down and delete our channels because we're playing their music. They fully understand and appreciate that we're keeping the culture alive by what we're doing. But for the people who play more popular music, or the guys who give guitar lessons, or drum lessons, or someone who does karaoke or lip syncing, even someone like Sandy Ravage who plays Slayer and Metallica while playing Call of Duty, this could be devastating and lead to the complete destruction of their channel. It says right in Twitch's guidelines, here are some example types of music content you may not use in Twitch streams or VODs. If you go to the second one, it says DJ set. Playing and or mixing pre-recorded music track which incorporate music other than music which is owned by you or music which is licensed for you to share on Twitch. That is me, and as a DJ, I'm breaking Twitch's policies every week when I stream. But I don't have anything to worry about because the labels I'm dealing with are small and they don't care if I'm playing their music. The problem arises when you have the RIAA and the WMGs and the UMGs of the world realizing that they can't milk money out of Twitch users, so they just get their channels shut down completely. It's been happening on YouTube for years and is still happening. Paul David's got numerous strikes on his channel because people stole his music and re-uploaded it, then striked his channel. So this flood of DMCA claims on Twitch is just the beginning. It's going to get worse. And with copyright law so convoluted and litigation so expensive, there's nothing we can do about it. We are pretty much fucked. This is just my quick initial thoughts about the whole thing. I'm going to leave links in the description if you want to read more or watch more videos about the upcoming Twitch copyright apocalypse. Peace. Thanks for watching. Like always, you can do that YouTube stuff. If you want to help support the channel, you can buy a shirt from our Teespring store or you can become a patron. Big shout out to this month's patrons, Dave C., Medic, and Urban Ghost.